Would you like to get a trade line added to your credit report that does know credit check? I already know the answer is yes, and I know y'all want to blow y'all credit score up. So with that being said, you already know what time it is. Let's get on into it. So, family, I'm back with another one. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the family. So, in today's class, I'm going to show you another trade line you can add to your credit report so you can blow that credit score up. Another 20 points, 25, 50, 100. All depends on what you got going on when it comes to your credit report. You know me, I got you. I'm going to show you, break it down to you so you can understand if you need to add this trade line to your credit report. So, with that being said, go grab a pen, go get some paper, and you know. You already know what you gotta do. We gonna get you something to drink today cause whoo, this is gonna be a good one. Y'all gonna love this trade line, I swear. So have y'all ever heard of um, Clio Credit? No, that's what I call it, called Clio Credit. But let's go to it, Google it, Clio Credit, and here's what's pop up. Did y'all see that? Hold up, did y'all just read that? Hey, y'all already know this trade line about to be fire. Hey, let's get back into it. Hey, that headline fire like I was saying before, but let's go ahead and click on this, see what it's all about. So. Oh, y'all see the little pizza? Hey, that thing fire. Hey, they. So let's build your hey, build your credit history, right? Apply for your credit, apply for your credit builder card in three minutes and start living your best credit life. Hey, this is fire. Hey, I love this this website. So let me make it a little bit smaller, kind of a little bit too big. Hope y'all can see it, but you can go to the website yourself and check it out as well. But as you can see, um, a card made with your credit score in mind, right, is true. We made a card focused on helping you boost your credit score, no credit checks, no interest. Everyone deserves a chance on working on their credit. Hey, like I said before, hey, this trade line does no credit check, has no interest, it's gonna help you blow your credit score up. Hey, all right, let's get back to the list. Hold up. So, as you can see, why is your credit score important, right? So as you already know, probably, why your credit score is important, because we need a house, we need a car, we need some funding for our business, but hey, at least they care about us. What y'all think about that trade line so far? Hey, that thing fire, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's the game plan. Here's how we're gonna take over. Here's how we're gonna get this money. Here's how we're gonna get this car and everything that we need. So let me break it down to you. So as you already know, and hey, pull out that credit report, pull out that um, score. Let me see what's going on. I can't really see, but I'm basically gonna break down what's going on. So here's how we're gonna get the money that we need to go ahead and fund our dreams or do whatever we're trying to do. But we gotta start adding a lot of trade lines to our credit report. And I'm gonna break down how many trade lines you need to add so you can boost up your credit score and do what you need to do because I already know you gotta remove these derogatory accounts off your credit report if you have some, if you don't. But here's the game plan on what you need to do because you need trade lines you need primary trade lines so let's break it down to you so i uh, use credit karma because i know everybody has it because it's kind of hard to understand the other credit reports but credit karma makes it a little bit easier makes it really simple so i'm just going to break it down as you're looking at the as you're looking at a fico as you're looking at the fico score so payment history right it's 35 percent of your score right and we need to get this up to 100%. So the game plan is to get this up to 100%. Once we get this up to 100%, you already know we good, right? So make sure we get it to 100%. And adding this trade line is gonna positively affect this part of your credit score as well. Most importantly, adding this trade line is also gonna help um, your credit utilization. Now, let me take that back. So adding this trade line, from what I read, it don't report the utilization, right? It don't report, so it's not gonna affect this. So they can't... It's not going to report. Also, we read this. They won't report a late. Hey, that's what they said. You won't ever be late. So adding this trade line is going to possibly affect. Also, this credit card, getting this credit card won't be counted as a utilization. So it's a secure credit card. You got to put money up. So they made it a little bit different, but it's a win-win situation when it comes to that because they're not going to report the utilization. So if you do max out the credit card, you're going to be good, right? The only thing is, it's trying to help you build credit. So you can use this credit card to pay for your, pay for different utilities, pay for this, pay for that. So this is a win-win situation. So that's another thing. Also, if you have derogatory marks, we already know there is a hack. I hate, that's not called a hack, but you're going to use the law in your favor to knock everything off your credit report, right? I have plenty of videos showing you how to knock all the derogatory marks off your credit report. However, you already know I'm going to show you a few more cheat codes. We're going to talk about that in another video in another day because you already know I got to show you all the law. But most importantly, adding this credit card or adding this account to your credit um, age is going to dip it. However, over time, it's going to impact, right? So that's 15% of your credit score and that's 82.5. I'll break down the the points later, but adding this part, um, adding this trade line to your credit report is also 
gonna help the total accounts. And here's why, is because you wanna have a mix of accounts. You wanna have revolving accounts, you wanna have installment accounts. As you can see right now, they're gonna consider this an installment account. However, it's considered, it's really a revolving account, but it's a win-win situation. And the good thing about this, it does no credit check, but however, it's a new account added to your credit report and it's gonna help blow it up. So here's the game plan on how we're gonna get this money. The first thing I need y'all to do is add trade lines to y'all credit report. Let's get five trade lines to your credit report, right? Five, I'll say 10, but they'll just start with five. We're gonna get five trade lines to our credit report. Once we get five trade lines out of our credit report, make sure our payment history is on, on point. Make sure our utilization is below 10%. Once you do that, uh, make sure you have no derogatory marks and so work on that. I know it's gonna take time. Hey, it's time, time, time. However, by doing these the complaints, by calling in, doing what you need to do to knock these things off, and then it's just a matter of time when these accounts all start falling off. But after you have everything cleaned up, um, credit age is above two years, um, total accounts is all looking good, and you have three or less hard inquiries, three or less, all right? Three or less hard inquiries, we're gonna go to the bank and get this money. I'm talking about 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, all in one shot. So go ahead and start building a relationship with a bank, a local credit near you, and also get into Navy Federal, also get into an, um, Langley Federal, also get into these. There's so many credit unions out here that you can go ahead and get this money, but this is the game plan. Once you get into the credit union, you don't want to go to the car lot to get the car. You want to go to the bank and get the money and then leverage the money to get the car that you really want. So, and you can basically say, yo, I have this amount of money cash. I'm ready to pay cash and they're going to give it to you at this. Well, right now, probably it's a little bit different, but you can negotiate when it comes to that. So don't go to the bank. I mean, don't go to the car lot and get your car, go to the bank and get that check and act like, you know, you got a lower amount of check to go ahead and get it. Also, if you want to get a lot of funding for your business or a lot of um, credit cards, what you need to do is create an LLC. In the meantime, as you're building your credit up, once you get the LLC, um, open up a business account. Then what you're going to do is then um, every, as everything is cleaned up, you're going to personally guarantee it. And then you're going to get that money, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 dollars in available credit, right? That's why I say go build a relationship with the bank first and start saving what you need to do, right? And then if you need, if, if you're trying to get a house, then it's already, you already know you got to go find a house, go find a realtor, go find everything else. And that's, it takes a little process when it comes to buying a house, but get it funded or get in a car. Hey, that's simple. We can get that anytime, any day. You know, I got y'all. So I hope this helps you out. I hope this gives y'all enough information to take action. If you have any questions, let me know. Drop them in the comments and I'll see you in the next class. Hold up. Wait, watch this video right here. Cause this trailer here is fire. You're gonna get $5,000. All right, I'll see y'all in the next class.